Hello, ladies out there. Um, I would like to address something that uh, most of uh, society seems to forget. There is a huge problem within our government system here in Canada that has to do with disabilities and in particular disability rights and accessibility. You see, what I, as a person who has uh, invisible high function needs, I have ADHD and autism. And that means for me, I don't use aids to symbolize that I have a disability. One would have to be specially trained to get um, even partial uh, diagnosis as to what I have, as in they would have to know the traits or the behavioral issues that uh, go with what I have. Here's the problem. Because my issues are not seen or really heard or noticed, uh, people think that I'm average woman, no disability whatsoever. Fact is, unless if uh, you see the paperwork on me given by professionals in the disability sector, such as psychiatrists, doctors, you name it, um, you wouldn't know. And there's a lot of women that are like me out there. And what I see is, well, pretty damning, if you ask me. We forget to uh, mention disability rights, but yet we're all for other rights, such as um, race or where a person lives. And yet there's people out there that are struggling in your own backyard. They could be your mother. They could be your daughter. They could be your son. They could be your next door neighbor. And fact is, is that you wouldn't know unless if you ask them when you are denied every day of your life, certain aspects to your disability for which you need to function in society, it makes life horrendous. When you get things like uh, funny you don't look autistic or funny you don't look disabled, everyone thinks that you have to have some kind of apparatus or visual sign that you have what you have when I don't. And that's half the issue. Um, when I walk into a job, I get you're a liability. How is that fair? How am I a liability? You haven't even taught me how to work or do whatever job you need me to do. You just think that just because I mention and that, that I'm honest about what I have, that you instantly think that I'm going to be more trouble than it's worth when fact is, I'm probably less trouble than half the people that you hire. <laughs> Go figure, hey? <laughs> I have to work twice as hard to get something done as the average person because I have to augment my, uh, my day or my workspace in order to function. And when jobs don't um, have the right um, type of sources for someone like me, it makes working really hard. And it makes uh, socialization in an atmosphere which rules may be invisible on top of the regulations that are written. Uh, it can be um, very difficult. And um, one has to struggle in that kind of environment all the time because the way you look, people think that you can handle it. No, not necessarily. As a matter of fact, you put too much on our plate, we might have a meltdown. I guess that's where most might consider that a liability, but how is it a liability when you simply ask the person, is there a way that we can help or assist you to make your life a little bit easier? And often if you ask one of us, I'm pretty sure that you'll come across the answer as yes, and here's how you can do it. Now, the other part of it is, is that if one has what I have and their IQ is way too high, PDD, which is a government funding program that helps us get uh, the resources or supposed resources that we need in order to gain employment or have um, certain things in our lives to help it make make it easier. Like uh, say if you need small reminders to do things, well, that's what disability skills coaches are for. But unfortunately, there's no programs in Edmonton that would uh, suit someone like me because what I have is varied from person to person, hence the word autism spectrum disorder. It is a spectrum. So it's, gonna, it's how it affects me is not going to affect someone else the same way. 
And many of us have social issues. Some of us have um, sensory issues. And these are things that have to be taken into effect as to what kind of work environment would suit a person like me. And I'm all about vocation services because they helped people like me on many various attributes. And it all depended on your diagnosis and your interest and where you wanted to be in life and as well as your health. And these are things that companies that supposedly deal with disability don't take into effect. Instead, what you get is a funnel system here in Edmonton. That's not right. If you have too high of IQ, like I probably mentioned, uh, PDD, if you're over 70, you don't get it. And furthermore, what's even more troubling is that if you're native, and you live on a reserve, even though you might qualify for PDD or resources, you don't get it because of where you live or the type of cultural background you have. That's not right either. PDD should be for everyone, depending on the type of diagnosis that you have, depends on the services and or how much money a person may get. What's going on here in Canada and has been going on for 30 years by ignoring one part of disability, but not so much another, is beyond disbelief. And it's been going on for so long. And this is something that should stop. And I'm looking for people that are going to stand behind me and help me not only set up a vocational program here in Edmonton that would help those like me, but also to bring down the PDD funding tests so that everyone who needs the help gets the help that they need. Now, with that said, I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't need the help. And I would like it if um, you women would understand this. And that's all I wanted to say at the uh, International Women's Day uh, March on uh, Gateway here in Edmonton. And um, yes, I was a part of it. But I didn't have time. I had to get out of there because I have social anxiety issues and I maxed out and I needed to leave. So in future, if you had space for someone like me to talk or to educate, I'm more than willing. And I'd be more than happy to stand up and voice my opinions because no disability should be ignored. And moreover, um, It should be a funnel system in uh, places that deal with disability, not let's service these little um, areas for which people have seen or more apparent issues than me and not uh, um, address the person as a whole. When you don't address the person as a whole, how do you get your needs met? How do you get the right accessibility to issues that are, well, yeah, that are causing more problems in your life than necessary. And it's time we fix our system. It's time that we stand together as a united front, because I don't know how many of you out there are affected by disability or have disability, but I tell you, if this was your son or daughter who has to struggle for the rest of their life or be forced to sit at home because they cannot function because there is no resources, And you're 80 and your kid is my age, which is 44. How do you, who takes care of who then? And when you're gone and all their supports are gone, who do they fall on? Are they going to be able to fend for themselves? Are they going to be able to take care of themselves? Are they going to be able to function or survive? That's all I got to say. Thanks.